The protagonist of Red Dead Redemption 2 leaves a lot of his decisions up to the player, but he is still a character. So what is Arthur Morgan's history? Join us for everything we know about Arthur Morgan's background. Arthur Morgan Origin John Marston was an outstanding protagonist in his own right when he helmed the first Red Dead Redemption in 2010. But while the latest prequel sheds light on John's past, new leading man Arthur Morgan becomes just as elusive. Frustratingly slippery, we aren't presented with too much information about Arthur up front, instead initially seeing him the way he sees himself, as Dutch's right-hand man, and little else besides. Despite this, as Arthur's tragic redemption begins, the cracks in his secretive exterior begin to show, finally giving players the much-needed backstory to one of Rockstar's strongest ever characters. Arthur was born in 1863. While he's reluctant to mention his parents at all, instead viewing Dutch and Hosea as his parental role models and his biological parents as more shortly-lived placeholders, we learn that they were called Beatrice and Lyle Morgan and originally emigrated to the United States from Wales in the United Kingdom. Early on in Arthur's life, his mother passed away, and he clearly didn't have a good relationship with his father. Lyle Morgan was a two-bit outlaw and petty criminal, eventually getting arrested when Arthur was just 11 for larceny, which she was eventually convicted for. It's unclear how Lyle actually passed away, but if you complete the Of Men and Angels side story before the peace negotiation main mission, he'll confesses to Sister Calderon that he watched his father die, and it couldn't come soon enough. This could really mean anything, that his father was hanged for his crimes, that he died of a long illness, or even that Arthur himself had something to do with his death since Arthur is, at the beginning of the game, a cold-blooded killer. We may not know exactly when his father died, but we do know that it was in roughly 1878, when Arthur was just 15, that he happened to cross Dutch van der Lind and Hosea Matthews, who became the new patriarchs in his life. Brought up on Dutch's socialist worldview, Arthur becomes one of the van der Linde gang's oldest members and founders. We also know Dutch and Hosea met at some point earlier in the same decade, meaning he really has been there since the beginning. Arthur wholeheartedly believes in Dutch's philosophies of being free from the restraints of law and civilization, craving an escape from the modernity which slowly sweeps the landscape of the Old West, and is loyal to a fault. Dutch makes Arthur's standing in his eyes clear early on in the game, when he says that as long as he has Arthur and Hosea by his side, he knows that the gang will be all right. After falling in with Dutch, Arthur is presented with a chance to leave his life of crime through Mary Gillis, known to us in the game by her married name Mary Linton. While we lack the exact timeline of when they fell in love, they certainly did, in spite of Arthur's lifestyle. They were even engaged at one point, and it was Mary's engagement ring, which she returns to Arthur during the events of RDR 2, which is eventually given to John Marston, and it's the same ring John uses to propose to and ultimately marry Abigail Roberts. The other obstacle facing Arthur and Mary was her father's disapproval of him, which eventually led to them calling off the engagement, breaking Arthur's heart. Prior to the events of the game, Mary marries another man and takes the name Linton, though Mr. Linton dies of pneumonia and leaves her a widow. Mary wasn't the only girl Arthur ever cared for, however, as at some point after that he met a waitress named Eliza, and she became pregnant. While she knew Arthur couldn't leave his outlaw life, he still decided to do right by her and his son Isaac, as best he could, stopping by to visit them regularly and also contributing financially. But when Isaac was still young, robbers murdered him and Eliza, and all for $10. This is when Arthur became truly hardened and learned how cruel and unfair life could be. It was the murder of his son which made Arthur into the ruthless man we meet at the beginning of the second game. Eventually, Arthur's dedication to his role as Dutch's top enforcer and one of the gang's most violent members leads him to Blackwater, 
where the gang's luck finally turns rotten. The chaotic, botched fairy heist sets in motion the events of both games, and the gang never recover from what happened in the small city. We don't know exactly what went down on the fairy heist, just that it all went south after Dutch shot another member of the gang, Heidi McCourt, in the head for unknown reasons, and the ensuing violence was so extreme, the incident eventually became known as the Blackwater Massacre of 1899. As well as Heidi, various other gang members also died or got captured, and even John came close to death after going missing and getting attacked by wolves, which is how he got his trademark scar. But Arthur wasn't present at the massacre, meaning that like us, he's left wondering what really happened to cause the initial fractures in the Vander Linde gang. Red Dead Redemption 2 officially opens with the gang fleeing across the Grizzly Mountains in the middle of a snowstorm, on the lamb, and struggling to survive since they had to leave all their money behind in Blackwater. Arthur goes to St. Dennis to meet Sadie, but is seized by a violent coughing fit and collapses. A stranger escorts him to a clinic, and a doctor named Joseph R. Barnes diagnoses Arthur with tuberculosis, having contracted it from Thomas Downs several months earlier. Arthur is overcome with emotion at this news, as such an illness would mean certain death. The news shakes Arthur to his core, and ultimately causes him to change and become a better man. Arthur returns to camp, angry at the suffering Strauss had caused. He tells Strauss to get up and takes him over to where his belongings are. Confused at what Arthur is doing, Strauss protests, but Arthur ignores his attempts at reconciliation. He throws money at Strauss's feet and orders him to leave, which Strauss does. Towards the end, Arthur is uncertain about Dutch's plans and loses faith in him. Arthur believes Micah is poisoning Dutch and feeding him false hope. After Arthur and Sadie attempt a rescue for Abigail, Arthur is confronted at gunpoint by Agent Milton and is told Micah has been working with the government since his return from Guarma. After Abigail kills Agent Milton, they head back to camp, and Arthur confronts Micah and ends in a standoff between Arthur, Micah, and Dutch. John returns wounded after being left to die by Dutch. He confronts Dutch asking why he left him there to die. Dutch and Arthur ask the group to pick sides and are ready for a shootout. This is short-lived as the Pinkertons show up. Micah and Dutch manage to escape and leave the fighting to Arthur and John. Arthur and John manage to escape by running through a cave and up the mountain, but Arthur can no longer continue due to his weakened state. Arthur tells John to go and he will hold them off. John refuses, but eventually leaves. After a fight with the Pinkertons, Micah jumps Arthur and they fight. In the end, Dutch shows up and Arthur pleads with Dutch and begs him to think. Micah begs Dutch to leave with him, but Dutch goes the other way and Micah the other. Arthur now in the last moments of his life manages to crawl to the top of the mountain and watches the sun rise one more time before the scene cuts away, ending the story of Arthur Morgan. In the end, as we summarize the highs and lows of Arthur Morgan's journey, we can't help but acknowledge the legacy he leaves behind. His story is a testament to the emotional depth and complexity of characters in the world of gaming, resonating with players long after the game ends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your favorite Arthur Morgan moment in the comments below. Let's keep the discussion going and continue to celebrate the incredible storytelling of Red Dead Redemption 2.